You don't need to serve up politics for that. It's divided us as such a nation. Why can't you go to a concert without that? She can vote any kind of way she wants. She can talk about it off stage. But when people pay to see you, just perform. And if we're gonna pay that much money as consumers, just perform. And if she wants to put politics in her music or her performances, she gets to do that too. She gets to do that because she's the wildly popular superstar Harris Faulkner, not you. They just don't want Taylor Swift to get involved in the election because they know that she is amongst the most popular people literally on the planet. Buckle up because this week's celebrity gossip is too wild to miss. First on the list, we've got the latest twist in the Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey saga. Just as Taylor's Vienna shows got canceled due to a terrifying terror plot, Travis decided it was the perfect time to drop a major career announcement. Coincidence? We think not. Then there's Charlie Puth, who's been leveling up his songwriting game, and guess who's inspiring him? None other than Taylor Swift. But wait, things get even spicier. Fans are convinced that Taylor's latest Instagram post is a subtle nod of support for Kamala Harris in the upcoming election. Is she Team Kamala? The Swifties sure seem to think so. Speaking of Swifties, Taylor just released a heart-wrenching voice memo from her new track that's got everyone in their feelings. And if that wasn't enough drama, rumors are swirling that Charlie XCX and Billie Eilish might have just thrown some serious shade at Taylor in their new song. Did they really diss the pop queen? You'll have to stick around to find out. Timing much? Okay, let's talk about the latest twist in the Taylor Travis saga. Just as the shocking news broke that Taylor had to cancel her Vienna shows because of a terrifying terror plot, yes, that's a real thing that happened. Travis Kelsey decided it was the perfect moment to drop his big announcement. Coincidence? I think not. So what's this announcement, you ask? Oh, just a little something about him hosting a new game show, Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity? Yep. The NFL star is stepping into the spotlight in a whole new way, trading touchdowns for trivia questions. The show is set to hit Amazon Prime on October 16, and fans are already losing their minds in the comments. Now here's where it gets interesting, because of course, the Swifties are wondering if their girl might make a guest appearance on Travis's show. I mean, wouldn't that just be the cherry on top of this whirlwind romance? But so far there's been radio silence from both Taylor and Travis on that front, and just to add a little more drama, this announcement came right after Taylor's Vienna shows were axed due to that scary terror plot. Talk about bad timing. You should see the things we do. It was disappointing, but it was nice that, like, we were all going through it. Terrorist attack is not a conversation as a parent you think that you're going to have to have. Swift has yet to address the planned attack, but in the past called this her biggest fear. Knowing that I'm no longer going to be there and these men are in custody. We will keep everyone safe and sound. I am not worried at all. And worried about her fans' safety after the Manchester arena bombing in 2017. For Austria now, where authorities have arrested a man suspected of planning attack at a Taylor Swift concert in Vienna. 65,000 people were supposed to attend each one of these concerts. According to the current state of the investigation, the suspects radicalized themselves on the internet. Subsequently, the suspects carried out concrete preparatory acts for a terrorist attack. The organizers say, of course, safety has to come first, but there are a lot of disappointed fans in Vienna right now. While the whole situation is super serious, Fans can't help but notice the overlap between the show's announcement and the concert cancellations. Could this be a little distraction move or just a really unfortunate coincidence? Who knows? One thing's for sure, Travis and Taylor are keeping us all on our toes. Taylor's secret sauce? Looks like Charlie Puth is leveling up his songwriting game and he's got none other than Taylor to thank for it. Yep. The guy behind some of the catchiest tunes on the radio is diving deep into storytelling for his next album, all thanks to a little nudge from the queen of lyrical genius herself. In a recent chat with People magazine, Charlie spilled the tea on how his upcoming album is going to be different. Sure, he's still serving those slick chords and quirky rhythms we all love, but this time he's putting a lot more thought into the lyrics. And guess who's been his muse? Taylor Swift, of course! Apparently, Taylor's way of crafting songs got Charlie thinking about how he could step up his own game. That's how she approaches her songwriting, and that's how I'll approach this next album, he said. Talk about taking notes from the best. Now, here's a fun twist. Even though these two music powerhouses haven't actually met in real life, their mutual respect is clear. 
Remember back in April when Taylor dropped her album The Tortured Poets Department? She even name-dropped Charlie in the title track, and as if that wasn't enough of a shout-out, Charlie followed it up by releasing his single Hero, which he says wouldn't have seen the light of day without Taylor's encouragement. So if you're a fan of either artist, get ready, because this next album from Charlie might just be his most emotionally charged one yet, all thanks to a little push from Tay. Is Taylor Team Kamala? Taylor's latest Instagram post has sent the Swifties into a frenzy, and for good reason. Some eagle-eyed fans are convinced that she's throwing subtle support behind Kamala Harris for president in 2024. How, you ask? It's all about the seventh photo in her recent post from the Eras Tour stop in Warsaw. In the shot, Taylor is doing her thing on stage, but what's got everyone talking is the silhouette of a backup dancer in the background. The dancer's pose, with one arm raised, has fans drawing comparisons to Kamala Harris, who's known for her iconic, confident gestures. And just like that, the internet is buzzing with speculation that Taylor might be hinting at her political leanings. Now let's not forget that Taylor backed Biden and Harris back in 2020, so the idea isn't too far-fetched. But before we get too carried away, it's important to note that Taylor hasn't officially endorsed anyone this election cycle. It could be just a coincidence, or maybe the Swifties are reading a little too much into things? Who knows? But honestly, can you blame them? Taylor's influence on politics is nothing to scoff at. Remember when her voter registration shout-out last September led to over 35,000 new voters? That's the kind of sway she has. And even though she's been cautious about diving into politics in the past, her evolution into a more vocal figure has only amplified her impact. So is Taylor quietly backing Kamala? Maybe, maybe not, but one thing's clear. When Taylor makes a move, everyone pays attention. You don't need to serve up politics for that. It's divided us as such a nation. Why can't you go to a concert without that? She can vote any kind of way she wants. She can talk about it off stage. But when people pay to see you, just perform. And if we're going to pay that much money as consumers, just perform. And if she wants to put politics in her music or her performances, she gets to do that too. She gets to do that because she's the wildly popular superstar Harris Faulkner, not you. They just don't want Taylor Swift to get involved in the election because they know that she's amongst the most popular people literally on the planet. Swifties in their feelings. Taylor has done it again, pulling at our heartstrings with her latest voice memo for the bonus track, My Boy Only Breaks His Favorite Toys from the Tortured Poets Department. Released for a limited time on Saturday, the voice memo is part of the standard digital album and it's safe to say fans are feeling all kinds of emotions. The track, available exclusively in the U.S. until Sunday morning, was announced on Taylor's Instagram story with a link to purchase the first draft phone memo for $4.99. While Swifties are no strangers to Taylor's behind-the-scenes clips, this one hit differently. Shortly after the memo dropped, a dedicated fan shared a snippet on X and it quickly racked up over 133,000 views. In the memo, Taylor gives us a glimpse into her creative process, saying, Okay, so this is kind of an abnormal structure, but I think it could be really cool this way. Then she hits us with, it sounds sad because it's on piano and I'm sad in general, but I've got to have like a driving synth beat or whatever. That raw honesty, paired with her emotional delivery, has fans feeling all the feels. One fan commented, my heart was hurting hearing her say those words, while another noted the tiny but powerful sniffle before she started singing. A simple that hurt from another fan summed up the collective heartbreak. But not all reactions were heavy-hearted. Some fans found solace in knowing that Taylor's in a better place now with one commenting, but the positive side is she's in such a better place. It's moments like these that remind us why Taylor's connection with her fans is so special. Did Charlie and Billy just throw shade at Taylor? The internet is buzzing with speculation that Charlie XCX and Billy Eilish might have taken a not-so-subtle swipe at Taylor Swift in their latest collaboration. The track in question, a remix of Guess from Charlie's deluxe album Brat, has fans dissecting every line, and there's one part in particular that's got everyone talking. Near the end of the song, the two sing in hushed tones, you want to guess what me and Billy have been texting about? You've been disrespectful, still trying to guess the password to my Google Drive. Are you obsessed with me? You want to guess the address of the party we're at? You really are not invited. Swifties are convinced this is a dig at Taylor. 
and there's some history to back up the theory. Remember when Billie Eilish criticized artists who release multiple vinyl variants to boost sales, calling it wasteful? Swifties were quick to point out that Taylor's been known to drop several versions of her albums, including the Tortured Poets Department, which kept both Billy and Charlie's albums from reaching the top of the charts. Billy later clarified on Instagram that she wasn't targeting anyone specifically, but the damage was done. The drama had already started brewing. And that's not all. Fans have also connected the dots to Charlie's earlier track, Sympathy is a Knife, where she sings, Don't want to see you backstage at my boyfriend's show. Given that Charlie is engaged to the 1975's George Daniel and Taylor had a brief fling with the band's frontman Maddie Healy, it's no wonder people are wondering if this is another subtle jab. So did Charlie and Billy really shade Taylor? The jury's still out, but the tea is piping hot. You recording yet? It says recording in the upper left corner. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Why the f*** am I still trying to read this? It's the same every single week. Throughout the offseason, we might drop some never-before-seen footage on Ooh, social. That's terrifying, if you ask me. Hopefully, they're not going to sabotage us, because <laughs> they got a lot of stuff they can put out. Wyatt? Tell her she owes me a chocolate chip cookie. We'll bake you some cookies, Uncle Chad. Yes, thank you, Why? She's the best. If I can't talk at a realistic like level... Your realistic level is right here. Huh? What? What'd you say over there? Today is the old ball and chain. <laughs> <laughs> what was the Super Bowl week like with that baby in your stomach? Such a weird question. Tell us about that. <laughs> I just said, cut that out too. Whoopsie. Can you guys cut this up and make us look actually good? Can guys? we just cut this? Can we cut out all of this, please? Take that out. Start over. Cut out. Sandra Lee's Swifty moment. Sandra Lee is having a personal renaissance, and it's all thanks to Taylor Swift. The 58-year-old culinary queen opened up to Us Weekly about how the pop superstar has influenced her journey back into the spotlight. I check in with myself often, Lee shared. Is it okay with you, Sandy? Does this work for you? Have you made this mistake before? She says she learned this self-check approach from none other than Taylor Swift. A lot of times I will ask myself, hey, Sandy, is this good with you? Like, think this through. So I'll talk to myself. And I learned that technique from watching Taylor Swift question herself. And she was sitting in the car and she goes, I asked myself, are we going to do this again? We decided not to do this again. And it was the way she said it. And in that moment, I thought she's absolutely right. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you next time.